Chargers TV here at the Kimber Sports Centre where your Mackay Timber Hobart Chargers get the win 107 to, no, uh, to 79 and with me now is Cohen Sapwell who had 16 points in what was a dominant display Cohen and uh, a really great game by you and the boys tonight. Uh, yeah, I mean, all week we just focused on making sure uh, that defence was our main priority. They, they're a team that averages 108 points a game. And to hold them to 79 tonight, is, it's a good feat for us. It's good. I saw that there was a bit of a, a, a bit of a zone kind of change up there, so a bit of disruptive defence. Was that a, a strategy that, that Coach Stewart had in mind? Yeah, uh, we... Uh, I don't want to say too much, but it's making sure that we just... We're messing up with them like mentally like yep. they're such a good and talented team individually and coach really well just to make sure that we're always switching it up we can't just stay in one thing too long because they're too good to say that um you had uh, everyone scored by Geordie Hargrave just you know how big of an improvement is that everyone getting on the scoreboard ball going through sets of hands really a good team game tonight by everyone Oh yeah, no, it's a testament to the hard work that we have at practice. We have everyone is getting a run, everyone's playing really well. So, and even even Geordie's like his, the, what he does for us doesn't always show up on the scoreboard. He's just all effort, all rebounding. So everyone tonight had a really good role and it was good to see those young guys get some minutes. We had Cal Bruin on the broadcast, uh, Cohen, and he just mentioned that you were, he, he commented that you were a better shooter than your old man. <laughs> you got to take that. Oh, absolutely. Nah, <laughs> I'll, I'll never, I'll never say no. And I, my dad should, if he's watching, he should, he should own up for that, for sure. Right, <laughs> we'll have to find out, won't we? Um, now, depending on the situation, obviously, um, with Victoria in a, in a seven-day lockdown at the moment, and we wish everyone a, a, a speedy, kind of safe kind of recovery there throughout yep. the seven days. Geelong next week, now, depending on what goes on, that, may, that match may get postponed or may go ahead, depending on all the circumstances. But will you still prepare as normal if Geelong were coming next week? Yeah, 100%. I think it's... it's It'd be silly not to, I think. I think they're such a good team that the preparation starts right now. So making sure that we have our matchups ready to go, the energy doesn't dip from now until uh, next Friday. Hopefully they'll get along. I was going to say, the energy was, was great. And then when you had the young lineup out there and, and they were making things happen and, and all these you know th potential four-point plays and other thing, defensive things, it was really good to see. You know, and as we say, it's a testament to, to the young guys really working their butts off here at training. Yeah, 100%. I think just those guys staying ready the whole time, like a lot of... A lot of games we have close games they don't they don't get on but it's mm. just them staying engaged mentally staying real energy on the bench it's only right that when they get on we do the same for them just that culture that we have here at the Chargers is, is what makes us good and I think we're in safe hands in a few years to come when they get of age absolutely <laughs> yes very well said Cohen Cohen a great game by you tonight and the boys so uh, best of luck going forward mate thank you very much appreciate it